morning guys, what's up? Nathan here, GFB Developments, here for another video. Um, sorry this is going to be a shorter video than usual. Not much happened this weekend due to um, family stuff, etc. Also the weather's got was pretty bad, So and everyone else was doing other things, working and whatnot, so there was no supercharged developments for uh, Gregor's car, uh, and certainly nothing on my end anyway. Um, but over the next few weeks, there will be another build kicking off, because we need more stuff, um, which will be JB's uh, uh, MX-5. His Insta is up here or down here, whichever we've got room, um, and there'll be a picture. Yeah. So yeah, he's having his MX has been off the road for a bit, but he's been pulled into the garage now, up at Lebo's, and it's going to get worked on. And I think he's boosting it. With the reason, which you can see for the, from the title of this video, is I know obviously the most people joined really because of the um, boosted MGB GT or supercharged MGB GT. Obviously you've not seen many videos of that recently. That's mainly because I need the car for towing um, and I can't take it off the road just yet until we've been away in it one more time, um, which it means I need the need it tow capability and I haven't got another tow car. So that's the beginning of um, or December when I'm using it again. After that, we've got a meet in Chardley, which we've set up, car meet, so anybody who's in the Midlands or anybody who wants to trek out, um, there is a meet on the Sunday the 17th, I think, at 9am till 12, I believe, um, at Chardley at the clock warehouse. I'll put the details in this video and in the link below. So come along to that if you want, it'll be great, there's quite a few cars will be turning up. If you've got something that's old, new, motorbike, car, whatever, um, trike, is, if it's something interesting, bring it along, and it's a breakfast meet as well, it's called the Breakfast Club, they are serving full breakfast there as well, kids are welcome, dogs are even welcome, the pub is dog friendly as well, so yeah, come along, so that'd be great, but doesn't mean things haven't start, started on the MGB GT, I've finally started getting the bits and pieces ready to do the build, which have turned up, they turned up on Friday, so I'll go through the bits and pieces, only a few bits and pieces because the rest of it is in a big box downstairs and I will do that in another video because there's a few more bits for that. So yeah, the first bits and pieces which was this from, um, with the car, this is the um, T25, Saab T25 exhaust flange. Now, you can't buy these, um, as in you can't buy them from a motor, port, a motor factors or anything like that. You don't, and if you wanted one, you generally have to cut it off an original Saab exhaust, which most of them are rusted and rotten and everything. So if you were putting, which I'm going for, Saab T25 turbo, mean, the only downside to these is you can't have a whistle pipe or anything like that, um, screamer pipe, sorry, not whistle pipe, because the there's no section you could really cut off for, for that bit, really. Um, yeah, so... But those, it's from a company called Imperial. Now they've sorted me out a few times with different um, parts and everything. And it's usually next day, the quality is second to none. You do pay for the quality though, it is uh, pretty expensive. I say pretty expensive, it's, if you want to build it properly, it's not. Um, but the good thing about this is it's got an actual step in, I don't know whether you'll be able to see that on the video, but it's got actually a step in there. So obviously the exhaust will be welded in and it just makes it seat better and stops you from getting obviously any leaks or anything and obviously that side of bolts the T25 turbo so yeah, the shout out again to Imperial Performance, they've been fantastic I'll put a link to their website below pretty much you, they've got everything you'd need really if you're doing a turbo build so, uh, so yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that um, and it's only a small piece but these little bits are the important bits really to be honest next up is the um, I contacted Torx for their AM fittings now. Gone for AM fours because I don't particularly need anything bigger, and I want it small enough so I can root and everything. And yeah, Torx. So I put again, put the link in below. Sorted me out standard AM fittings. Um, pretty nice, black anodized. They they're pretty cool, really. Um, at least then when they're downside the block, you won't really tell they're there. And I don't, I don't like anything sort of. Um, brash and in your face ring really, to be honest um, the idea is on this side of the block which is the normal oil feed for the block for a turbo install anyway um, there is a I think it's an M10 I believe it's an M10 fitment 
So I've got an M10 to AM4, and you could just take the part straight off it, but I'm going to hit a 90 degree. So as soon as so I basically I'm going to show you how that is again, 90 degree straight off, which again you'll see more when the, when the engine's out and the build starts. Um, and then strip the turbo feed. Um, now my turbo uses banjo, which I'm most of do. I could reuse the ones that came with Saab, but they're pretty knackered really to be honest. So I've basically bought a standard banjo, which will fit the original band, uh, the original bolt hole um, for the turbo, and then obviously the AM4 fitting for that end. Then um, the general AM4 pipe work. Now I only got, I think it was about a metre and half, something like that. More than enough, because it's not going very far. The other bits I'm waiting for are the uh, drain. Now I've gone for a larger barb, only because the output on the T25, oddly, on the Saab T25, is quite large, to be honest. It, it's it's lot, certainly larger than the uh, TDA4s that I've seen, so there must be a reason for that to get the oil out. Uh, I guess the journal bearings are small or something, so I'm, I'm not prepared to take any chances with it, so I've I've gone for quite a large barb on it, and the engine's coming out obviously. So I'm gonna, uh, as much as people drilling in some, uh, drilling into some when the car's on the when it's on the car, I'm not prepared to do that. So I've got to take the engine out, clean the engine bed, up anyway, and do some wiring. So I thought I might as well just do it all at the same time. It would be easier to do that than doing anything than doing it when it's in the car. And you never know. Bit of swarf, that's it. Job done. You've you've kind of knack your engine. I've already killed one engine, so I don't really want to kill another one. Um, so yeah, it's going to come out, but yeah, it's quite a large barb, and the drain's quite large, so it's standard um, heat-resistant rubber hose that I've ordered anyway. You generally can order any of that, go on eBay, you can order any stuff like that. So that's that's mainly those bits, so they will start, so I'm, I'm pretty stoked, but again, I can't, do, I can't take the car off the road until basically after the 17th. That weekend, after that, I'm literally driving the car home, and... The car will be up on the uh, ramp, and we'll, I'll have the engine out, and or the up on ramp. Sorry, I'll have the engine out, and it's it's ready to rock really, and a clean engine bay up. I am going to do a few other things, which I'll show another video on. I'm moving the radiator forward to the V8 position, only because at the moment, if you've probably seen on the other videos, my radiator is at a kilter, which it doesn't look great. You know, for the bonnet show people, that's the first thing they're going to see, and it's the first thing I see is getting on the nerves. It served a purpose at the time. Um, but with V8 positions, I don't know why I didn't do it before. The engine mount, the, sorry, the radiator mounts, it's different mounts, but it's the same radiator. It just pulls it forward by about five or six inches. It pulls it in front of the steering rack and still a bit behind of the steering rack. So that's going to go on first. Um, doesn't mean a longer uh, hose for the bottom rad and longer top hose, but that's fine. It's not a problem. It gets everything out of the way because at the moment everything's kind of a bit tight and the fans do get close to the bottom pulley. So it just moves everything out of the way, and at least I know there's not going to be any clashes with anything. I probably will upgrade the radiator to a aluminium one, but we'll just wait and see. Um, obviously, with the uh, it's extra expense, but I've got obviously the exhaust and to buy the exhaust stuff. I'm going to go for side exit exhaust, down bottom side exit, not out the wing or anything like that. Um, but it should be pretty good, really, and I'm, I'm excited to get on it. Um, Gregor's build's still going off, um, he's having my mounts and like I said before, um, I still need to sort the ECU out, we had problems last time we put it on that it, it wasn't sparking and then when we came to start the car after we took the ECU off, one of the coil packs had gone, so I'm thinking one of the coil packs was on its way and that's what caused the problem, I'm hoping it wasn't the Omega Square ECU, but I need, I'm going to take out Omega Square ECU and have a look at it to make sure everything's okay with the, the, in, um, the, the coil pack wires just to be doubly sure that nothing's gone weary or gone wrong on that. And like I said, JB stuff's get kicking off as well. So yeah, there's quite a lot going to be going off on the channel, especially over this sort of Christmas break, especially for me, because I've got time off, um, got quite a bit of time off coming up from work, holiday time and everything, so it means I can focus on that and there'll be a heck of a lot of updates. I'm planning on possibly that run up to the Christmas uh, break and just after Christmas with that time off is possible daily updates with it. So I'm, I'm hoping to get the engine out, do the bits and pieces, get the engine back in. I will test fit the turbo and do the exhaust before the engine comes out because it makes it easier um, and sort of route everything, tack it all up and then take it off, then take the engine out, do the uh, engine, clean the engine bay, do the radiator. I do need to do one side, the sills and everything. The, I've had the car nearly 20 years and the sills have been done once, they need doing it again. So I might as well get them sorted. 
then yeah, it's um, pretty much way to go back in. I'll have to map it again for the high boost. Um, I have ordered a VW boost solenoid just because I found one cheap on eBay to put on it. So hopefully I get a bit more boost out of it. Well, I will get more boost out of it, and it will be choo choo along. So be fantastic. But what else? Um, obviously, you can see on my screens behind me, we've um, this website's been updated. I'll put a link in the description below www.jfbdevelopments.co.uk. One of the major things that we've obviously added, um, the stickers are coming, um, I'm still waiting for them to be delivered. Um, obviously you've got your links to the YouTube channel which you're already going to have there if you um, subscribed anyway. But the main thing is we've started uh, doing some um, clothing basically. Um, literally just because we had some ideas for different clothing designs and people had asked us about clothing design stuff. And also we wear shirts, GFB Development shirts, none of these say GFB Development's on by the way. They're just general funny sort of fun shirts to just basically have a look at. So yeah, if you hit up the shop, you will obviously see the, um, if you look at the website, so you'll obviously see the shop. Um, any of the, the t-shirts you put in, let's do this, with capital L, capital D, um, capital T, on let's do this, if you do buy anything, it's free shipping, and it's I think it's next day, it's first class, so if you were to earn it, it's pretty much next day. So have, take a look, um, see what you like. There is more designs going up, I've got a few more going on anyway. Um, that most of them are going to be around about boosted stuff and MX5s and generally stuff like that, just things that pop into our heads. So apart from that, that's about it. Um, sorry it's not a garage update, but can't have it all the time, can we? Um, so anyway, hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.